that <laughs> is the Heartbreak Hill rest of. We're going down it. We're ready to go. Basically, you've already seen this in a vlog like like a month ago. Yeah. No, we're not going to vlog it in the same way. We are just going to vlog little bits of it and try and condense this section, which is Red Bull to Middlewich, which is a Heartbreak, Heartbreak Hill and a little bit beyond, into one vlog and see how it comes out. <laughs> yeah. So there's a fair bit of distance. Well, it's raining today, so I don't know how long we're going to go for today. Yeah, so it's like three to four, two to three to four days of travel. Um, but Joe needs to catch up, so we don't want to overload with too many... Um, samey videos. Samey videos, so... Yeah. <clears throat> so hopefully nothing crazy happens like a whale breaching or anything like that, but we'll see if we can capture it if it does. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> we go. This really isn't the best start to the day. The rain's already coming down hard. We make a stop at Red Bull Services to unload the rubbish and recycling and empty the liquids tanks. While Michael takes care of all of that, I walk ahead to prepare the next lock. As Michael mentioned, we're now on the section of the Trenton Mersey Canal known as Heartbreak Hill. It has earned this nickname due to the fact that there are 26 locks between Kidsgrove and Wheel Lock over a seven mile stretch. That's a lot of locks, and the distance between them means that there's a lot of jumping on and off the boat, or in mine and George's case, a lot of walking. We pass an arrowboat snow goose and recognise David from Twitter. He very kindly puts on his wet weather gear and comes to help us with a couple of the locks. The canal water is still pretty red here from the iron ore deposits back in the old Brindley Tunnel at Harecastle. David heads back to his boat. Soon he'll be setting off south for his passage through the tunnel. The cows are on the move as we pass, and if I'm not mistaken, there's a little bit of blue sky visible between the trees up there. It's just half a mile to the next lock at Church Lawton, so it's not really worth me getting on the boat. From here, you can see that the offside lock is one of the ones that has fallen into disrepair. Look at the weather now, it's turning into a lovely day. Michael reaches the next lock before me and the very nice couple coming up the towpath lock see him approaching and set the other lock for him. We get to return the favour, closing their lock gate for them as they leave. Most of these locks are in pairs, so there's a good chance that at least one will be set in our favour. Originally they were built as single locks in 1770, but as this section proved to be a bit of a bottleneck, most of the locks were duplicated to ease the congestion. Not all of the locks have survived though, and some are now singles again. It's a mile to the next lock, and George and I continue to walk. This is where the old steel lock was located before it was moved in the 60, leaving just one lock. We talked about it in vlog 203. Check it out if you aren't sure what I'm talking about. It's pretty unique.
It's another mile to the next locks, and this time George and I jump on board. George would have kept going quite happily, so he's not very pleased with me, but he takes up his usual position on the stern. He likes to be able to see what's going on. We were going to pause above the Hassel Green Locks for a quick bite to eat, but the lock is set in our favour and the crew from a boat that has just arrived below the lock see us and top it up for us, so we continue through without lunch. You get a lovely view of the M6 from this lock. We've now done 16 locks today. There are just eight left to get to Wee Lock, so we decide we may as well continue. Some of us more reluctantly than others. That's Heartbreak Hill done. 24 locks in one day, plus the two we did yesterday. Our record is 30 in a day when we came down the Tardy Big Flight, and we did 29 the day we did Cane Hill, so this is a little short of our record. Day two and it's raining again. We pass Wheel Lock Wharf and Michael hovers with the boat while I emptied the liquids tank. Then it's all aboard for the three and a half mile cruise to the first lock of the day. There are two boats waiting below Booth Top Lock when we arrive, so we get lots of help from them as we go down. A higher boat arrives below Booth Middle Lock, so we get yet more help. After the bottom lock, I get on board. I'm really tired from all the locks we did yesterday. This bridge appears to have taken a bit of a beating. It's a good warning to us to stay as far left as possible. We don't want to add to that dent. We approach the top of this lock at the same time as a boat arrives below. The water in the lock has dropped about halfway, but the lovely guy on the other boat makes the decision to fill it for us. It's very much appreciated. It's only half a mile to the next lock and George and I walk, but we start to fall behind. As Michael approaches, a lovely viewer spots him and opens the gate. Thank you if you're watching. We are back at the junction with the Middlewich branch and it's a little bit busy with two boats waiting to go up King's Lock and a boat turning into the branch. Under the white bridge, past the service point and narrowboat A up and we arrive at Middlewich Top Lock. We're so ready to stop for the day but have three more locks to descend before we can. We can hear a boat in the lock below, which means we can swap positions when it's ready. It's rather awkward though, as the pound is short and it has a 90 degree bend in it.
There's yet another boat in the bottom lock. We really have gotten very lucky with locks today. We leave our gates open for them and wait for them to exit. It's a pretty deep lock and only one of the paddles is working, so it takes quite a while to descend. Round the bend and we take the first of these rather scruffy moorings near Middlewich Town Centre. At least it's convenient for the little. So we are back in Middlewich and we are on new ground because we didn't turn down the Middlewich branch at the junction we carried on north. Yeah, we are here three locks further into new territory and no further do we go. <laughs> um, today, this cruise, I think, has been the luckiest we've ever been. For locks. We've done eight locks. Every single one was set in our favor. Most of them either had a boat coming out or there was a boat at the bottom waiting to go up, but because it was set in our favor, they just helped us. Yeah. And everyone was really nice and helpful. Yeah, so it's just been a pretty much a smooth sail the whole day. No so real stopping. Just in case you think we only ever moan about locks being against us and people being unhelpful. Today was a good day. Yeah. <laughs> the weather, however, didn't exactly hold up. It started out kind of damp. It went briefly not so damp. It went heavier damp. It went less damp. It's been damp and dampish and off damp, but it hasn't really gone to the point of non-damp. So right now we're waiting for the gray extremely cloud. gray cloud above us to start just going and that's it, I'm done. I'm just watering you all the way. After the last look, there's all these lovely moorings next to a green. And I was like, oh, that, that looks like a good place to stop. There's the private mooring all the way along. I think it's for the Anderton boat hire place. So, anyway, it would have been nice there. Instead, we're under, we're next to this bit of corrugated metal. Yeah, I thought it was us scraping, but it turns out it was these plants pulling across the metal. Yeah. So I was like, I was on here going, oh God, we're going to have to move because I hear this scrape, scrape, scrape. Let's let that thing pass. So even though it's not the nicest mooring, it does feel really good to be on fresh canal that we haven't been on before. It does. You know, we had the Calden, which was new, but then there's been a lot of just... Uh, repeating. Yeah, well, since we turned off Metal Witch, it's been lots of repeat. Yeah, everything we've done, we've done twice. Yeah. And some of the Calden we did four times. <laughs> yeah. But we're here now, and I'm about to take a walk over to a little, because um, I feel like getting a little bit of bakery. Baked yeah, goods. it sounds good. Yeah. I'm not feeling so great. So if I met you today and I wasn't on top form, I'm very sorry. Yeah, you weren't feeling too well. No. So I hope this vlog has worked. Obviously, didn't film much on the repeat bit. I uh, tried to film a bit more on the new bit, but didn't really succeed. So it'll be interesting to see how this vlog turns out. Two days in one. At the beginning, do you remember I said it might be three days, it might be four days. It was yeah. two days. Well, it was two days of cruising because we did sit for one day at Wheel Well, yeah, well, yesterday, no, the, the first day of cruising, we did um, 23 locks. Yeah. That was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. Do you remember when we first bought the boat and we thought six locks was a lot in the day? <laughs> we were crazy. <laughs> uh, anyway, so let's do the thanks for watching. So thanks for watching. If you feel like it, give us a thumbs up. If you do also want to comment, give us a comment down below. Feel interested in hearing from us again, make sure you click the button that says subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get notifications. Good? Yeah. I didn't flub that? No. I sort of flubbed. I like micro flubbed it. This really isn't the best start today. The raining's coming down. It isn't the... It has earned this, and the crew from the boat, and the crew from a boat is, and the crew from a boat, and the crew from a boat that has just arrived below, and the crew from a boat. And chip a doo doo. And chip a doo doo. Oh. Oh good, my butt landed on something solid. That could have been so much worse. Guys, can you press my face? <laughs> You're a locked, Lassie. You're a locked.
Get that thing off. Michael turned Scottish off. today. Oh it? my god. It's very bizarre. It's not that bizarre. I wrote you a... can take away our lives. I wrote and a... you can take away our lives. It's still Scottish. <laughs> yeah, but it's only temporary. It's not yeah. going yeah. to yeah. last forever. It's stopped already. <laughs> yeah, well. Thanks. Thanks for that. So just below the lock, I think it might be called Middlewich Big Lock. It was quite deep, but not that deep, really. Middlewich Big Lock? Yeah. I like that. I think so. It might be a different one. Middlewich the, slightly larger lock. There might, be a, there might be a bigger lock, which is Middlewich Big Lock. But I think that was Middlewich Big Lock. Mm -hmm.